Okay, so some people have asked me how I get my skeins to come off so nicely. And this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to get it to come off because it's it. And I understand it when you're first getting started, it's hard to understand. One strand, okay, one end will be on the outside and one will be on the inside because of the way yarn is skeined. It starts with one end and then it wraps everything around. You have to find the outside. Um, this is pretty easy. When you untie it, you can look. This one is actually down at the bottom and coming from the inside. So if I was to pull it, it's going to come right off of there. Okay. So this is my outside one and it will wind off a lot easier than the inside one. Now what if you get halfway through and realize, huh, I got the inside one. That's why I'm having so much trouble. I don't use my skeiner tight. If you look, there's a lot of play in it and it works just fine. And if I was to grab the bottom one and do it, you literally can just flip the yarn so that that becomes the outside uh, piece. And you can do it to each side as long as you keep it consistent. So it will make your yarn come off the skeiner a whole lot faster and a whole lot more even even if you're just ball winding it okay so right now I'm scanning from skein to scanner um, over here but it will do it for a ball winder too you just have to make sure you get the right end and figuring that out at the beginning is take the time to do that and trust me it'll work